My name is Mark Hurley Jr. I'm project manager here at Granite Rock. So we are at the intersection of Highway 25 and 156 here at the new Turbo Roundabout. So the intersection was two lanes each direction, northbound, southbound 25, and then eastbound, westbound 156. There was a light signal here previously. We had five different stages to construct this. The work in each phase was nothing new to Granite Rock, making sure when we went from stage one to stage two, everything was safe for the traveling public. Kevin Drabinski, Public Information Officer for Caltrans District 5. This location had a history of serious collisions that was higher than the state standard. So we were able to access highway safety funds for this project. This is the first turbo roundabout in the state of California. One of the design features is the fact that it calms the speed at which people are negotiating the roundabout. I know living in Hollister, you would see traffic backed up all the way to Highway 101 on 25 southbound in the afternoon. The biggest thing is safety. The drivers are approaching the roundabout. They're seeing signs overhead that are suggesting lanes to get into. Whether or not you want to make a right, go straight or make a left. And so you're committed to a single lane. The traffic on the left has the right of way and people are able to, with the slower speeds, identify a gap when they can get out and get safely into a lane and take the roundabout and exit at their destination. We've done a lot of outreach and instructional videos in English and in Spanish. We've really tried to publicize and get people educated to be more comfortable when they negotiate the roundabout. Many people can view the traffic camera that's set up here, a Caltrans traffic camera. And if I look on the map or I look on the camera, especially during commute hours, you don't see the long backups that you did before. Heard good things, good reviews about the roundabout. People are getting through the intersection quicker and uh, on with their days and on time to work, so. Overall, I'd say it's an incredible benefit for the community. We can learn from this whole construction process and possibly have it be a model for other locations around the state.